So you're looking for an all-in-one application giving you access to free movies, free TV shows, and even live TV with a fully working program guide. Now, this application doesn't require any kind of registration, no usernames, no passwords. The application works great on your Fire Stick, on your Android TV devices, and with this latest update, they've now added in so much more great free content. So please do take a moment to hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. And here we can just confirm on my Nvidia Shield, where this application is available directly on the Play Store. If it's available in your region, the latest version is 3.47.0 and we can confirm it was updated a few weeks ago on the 6th of September. And the great thing with these updates is typically they have things like bug fixes or performance fixes, but in many cases with these newer versions, they do also add in newer content. And we can see this application has free on demand, choose from hundreds of movies, TV shows, and we can see the big update in the free live TV section. We have movies, lots of live sports, news, music, and just different genres. So lots of great updates. So let me now jump over to my 4K Fire Stick Max, where I'll take you through the application, show you some of that new content, and then finally we'll end up with the step-by-step -step install instructions. Now, when you start the application for the first time, this is what you'll see and this just confirms that you have the latest version and what they've done is on the android tv devices if you do want to rent movies or rent tv shows with this application you need to double check your google payment information but in my video i'm only going to show you the free content the content you can access on all of your devices without requiring any kind of registration let's click on got it and we are now inside the application. Now, it really does have a very nice, easy to use interface. We have the main menu on the left, where you have sections for home, free on demand, free live TV. Then you also have a very large collection section, which has lots of different uh, bundles. Then you have my library, which does require you to sign in. So I'm gonna ignore that. Then you have settings. Let's go into that now. And then we can just confirm at the bottom, this is version 3.47. Let's go to the left. Now, probably in the home section, you'll get a good idea on the type of content you'll see in this application. So we have a trending section. We have a free popular movie section. So just lots of different content, different categories, anything you want to watch. And let's try this one over here. We can see that this is uh, one hour and 35 minutes long. We get to see some information about the movie. I can click on watch free and in a couple of seconds we are straight into that content and that really is the great thing about these official streaming applications because they're official they have the backing they have the necessary infrastructure and that just means that we can enjoy all of this content buffer free on all of our devices and if you had to use a certain way of changing your ip address if for whatever reason you see an error just try a different location, like maybe Dallas or maybe Chicago, just in case one of them is not working, you can then use another server to access this content. That's working absolutely fine. I can forward that a bit. And that's working great. Okay, let's back out of that. So that's the free uh, popular movie section. Then you also have free live TV. Now, the great thing about this is, not only do you get access to lots of different live TV channels, if you go over to the right, click on see more, they've actually added in a complete electronic program guide. So you know exactly on all of these channels, what's on now, what's coming up next. Here, for example, we can see the trivia show channel or game shows. Let's click on that. And as this is a live TV channel, we can see that's taken you directly into wherever that program was. That's working great. And once again, that is a fantastic HD picture. Let's back out of that. Now on the left here, we can also see they have genres for these channels. So if you're only interested in news and weather, I can click on that. And this then shows you all of the news and weather channels. Here we can see the action and sci-fi. Lots of different things in here. 
then you have movies, keep going down, and then you have the very large sports section. So lots of different channels, different types of sports. We can see some uh, soccer, we can see UFC, MMA. Here we can see billiards TV. I'm gonna put this one on just in case there's any issues with uh, copyright strikes. So hopefully billiards TV should be okay for a second. Just to show you that it's not just one channel or one show, or one episode. Everything you click on in here is working. It's working straight away. That's looking good. Let's back out of that. Back again. So for a completely free application, which doesn't require any registration, gives you the access to those movies, TV shows, lots of different live TV content, including that program guide, especially with this big update where they've added in more channels, more content. I definitely think it's worthwhile checking out. So that's the application there. Let me now show you how you can get this on all of your devices. Now the Amazon devices, if you just go over to settings, go over to MyFi TV, go to developer options, and where it says install unknown apps, let's click on that and just make sure downloader is set to on. Once you've confirmed that, let's now press the home key and let's now open up downloader. Inside downloader, we can make a quick connection to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com or you can always type in the short code 53402. Let's type that in and click on go, or you can just press the play button on your remote. Now when you get to my site, if you head over to the hamburger menu, which is one with the three lines, let's click on that, click on tutorials, and the latest tutorial in the list will be how you can get this latest version of Redbox. Let's open that up. Here we are, and we can see this is the latest September 2022 update. And let me just give a big shout out to Patrick, who's one of my channel members, who told me about this latest update. And if any of you guys want to join my private chat group, all you need to do is become a channel member. Alternatively, if you want to buy a VPN, if you use my link, send me a screenshot of your purchase, and I'll then get you free access to my private chat group. Let's scroll down. Here we can see some more information about the application. And underneath all of that, we'll have a couple of different versions of the application. And the reason why I've left the older versions on there is some devices may have compatibility issues with the latest version. So if you can't use the September version, you can always go back and use a slightly older version. But on my device, the 4K Fire Stick Max, I'm gonna click on the last link here and you want to click on this green download button and this will download the latest version on your device. And that's the application all working fine. And just before you go guys, if you don't have a VPN or you're not happy with your current VPN, Hypevanish are doing a crazy promotion just for the next two weeks, whereby you can get total protection for all of your devices, your phones, your tablets, your Fire Sticks, your Android TVs, all devices covered at maximum speed, unlimited bandwidth, with confirmed zero data logging at just over $3 a month. So really at that price point to get all of that protection, I think it's an absolute no brainer. So please do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about this new update and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.